To a developing story, a family furious at Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies who took nearly one hour to show up after a 911 call about an attempted kidnapping of their daughter. This was in Gila Bend. MCSO says drive time and traffic caused that delay. ABC 15's Jason Valentine live in Avondale with both sides of the story. Very unique, Jason. Explain to us exactly what happened. Well, right behind me here is the Sheriff's Office substation in Avondale. This is where deputies who patrol way out in Gila Bend start and end their shift. So, Here's a look at the map. We're talking about 50 miles, even with lights and sirens. It just takes a lot of time to get out there to heal a bend. The family, they're not interested in excuses. The family getting ready to go out for dinner. Mom's waiting at the wheel. Little girl is in back. She was in here. Dad is coming out of the house, and a stranger does this. Well, he opened the door. He sat inside, and then he kept looking back at my daughter, trying to reach for her. I just put my fist up to him and was screaming for him to get up. Dad comes rushing. And I just wanted, I mean, to hurt him. Instead, he chased the man while calling 911. And I just told him, you know, I'm calling the cops and they're going to get you, I told him. But they didn't. Gila Bend is MCSO's jurisdiction, but it took deputies nearly an hour to get there, partly because of rush hour traffic from Phoenix. This is a, a city that we are contracted um, to patrol, and you're looking at at least at least a 40 to 55 minute drive, depending on the traffic. Plus, the MCSO substation in Gila Bend is only part time and wasn't staffed when the call came in. DPS actually beat MCSO to the scene and they all started looking. During the search, we also launched our Fox 2 helicopter. Um, we, we exhausted all of our means to attempt to locate this, this suspect. But no suspect to be found. I kind of feel, I kind of feel like they didn't help us. Now, mom and dad both frustrated knowing the guy's still out there. Inside me, I'm telling myself I should have got justice for myself. Not If I would have known the, the sheriffs were not going to get him and let him get away, I would have took justice into my own hands. I mean. Now, the family and deputies also have a disagreement about that search and whether or not they looked everywhere for the suspect they should have. That part of the story coming up at 6.